Hello, I'm Piers Corbin of weatheraction.com, long range weather forecasters. And we use a fundamentally different technique from all other forecasters for long range forecasting, and that is called the solar weather technique, which I've developed over the years, uh, starting in about 1988. Standard meteorology deals with the Earth and predicts the atmosphere uh, developments and the atmosphere which they talk about is like a piece of cardboard on the surface of the earth. That's the scale that they operate on. We though deal with events completely outside that which affect that weather layer. We deal with everything from the surface of the earth to the sun and everything in between it and that involves a great rush of particles coming from the sun at a million miles an hour and these impact on the Earth's magnetic field which goes to about seven times the size of the Earth and that has effects on the upper atmosphere and the detailed development of weather systems. So how do we predict any of these effects? Well an important thing to understand is that there are magnetic effects involved uh, which is why I've got this little picture. You can imagine this ball, of course, is the wrong size. The orange one is the sun, and that is the earth. And these are, if you like, magnetic links between the sun and the earth. And every 22 years, there's a cycle, and the magnetic links become weaker or stronger around a 22-year cycle. These are just symbolic connections between the poles of the earth uh, and the sun. And that explains why there are that particular cycle in the Earth's weather, but there's many, many other things. So it's a great simplification just to say it's as simple as one cycle. But we are able to understand many changes which happen between the links of the Sun and the Earth. And the solar weather technique then can predict what the Sun-Earth magnetic connections are going to be in the future and compare them with connections in the past and so to forecast the future we find when the sun earth magnetic links or the solar weather technique state was the same in the past including modulation of the solar wind by the moon so we have the right times in the past and we can use therefore the corresponding weather in the past to forecast the future and that can be done down to details of a few days many months ahead which is something of course standard meteorology cannot do and the solar weather technique is especially skilled at extreme events a long time ahead uh, we are now on solar weather technique number 25D um, we make these little changes in it depending on new advances and also on on uh, errors we make and, and uh, therefore uh, corrections. The most recent general advance we made was uh, developing what we called the uh, theory of SLAM, which is the solar, lunar uh, and, uh, and magnetic amplification process whereby events on the sun are modulated in predictable ways um, through, through the moon and this can explain a 60-year cycle in solar uh, effects and 60-year cycles in general terms of world temperatures. For example, uh, our key message is that we predict, the solar weather technique predicts what we call solar weather technique states. Those define the basic weather patterns and we can look back in the past to find so similar solar weather things in the past to the future and those are used to make forecasts of hitherto unimaginable accuracy. Thank you.